Hey guys, it's Lisa, and today we're going to do a very small but really good try-on haul from H&M. Several of you have asked me if I would do an H&M try-on haul, and I'm curious, do most of you find that you get better things in the store, or do you prefer shopping H&M online? So today I only have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do, I have 10 pieces. And I would say five of those are winners, and maybe five will be going back. Yesterday, my daughter Brooke came over to help me. She does help me a lot in general and with my YouTube channel. So when she came over, we did a few things, and then we went to lunch. And if you watched my Zara video, <laughs> which I will post up here, it rained all day. And I'm not talking about just a little sprinkle that paused every once in a while. It steady rained all day long and it was like 50 degrees. So we were getting cabin fever. We went to go get something to eat and we got rained on. And then when we got back, I decided I want to try on these clothes. So when you see me trying these clothes on, you will notice that I have been rained on and Brooke sat over here on the sofa and you'll see us talking back and forth because I kind of like it when she or someone's here that I can discuss what I'm wearing just like I do with you guys. And the outfit that I have on was her number one and I will have to say it was probably mine too. Matter of fact, when I tried on these shorts, I told her, I said, Brooke, this is just like something I would have worn in my 20s. And she said, really? I said, yes, I loved a good pair of dress shorts. And I liked them about this length. I, I wasn't into the short shorts. I preferred wearing a nice pair of dress shorts and then I would put a nice little sweater with it or you know something like that and I loved wearing little sandals. What I love about these shorts is you can take something like this in so many different directions. You could easily throw on a nice white tank top or t-shirt and put it on with some good black flip-flops and then you have a nice comfy casual yet put together look for just going anywhere. You can put it with something like blousy, like a good, I always like like the white pirate type tops and stuff with shorts like this. But what I love the most is a good Johnny Cash in the summer, all black look. And I like to take it in the more tailored, classy, kind of dressy direction like I have today. This top is also from H&M and it is something that's very, very popular this year. It's kind of like that crinkled, gauzy type fabric. It is long sleeve, it is button up. It does have that little bit of almost like a pleated crinkle design. Of course, you can put your sleeves up. And what I love about these shorts is the fact that you do not have to wear a belt because I don't always want to wear a belt. And this gives you the option. There are no belt loops, so that really helps. And they're just good. You know, they're like the perfect length, the perfect amount. I think there's two pleats, there's pockets. They're just amazing. And you can really, like I said, change up the look with your shoes. Now, I think I tried these on with some of my Gucci sandals. I have them in black and gold. Today, I'm wearing these, which are the Vince Camuto, and I have these in more of a natural color and a black. I love that this is, it's kind of like that Valentino nude, the Poudre, where it has more of the fleshy pink tone to it, and they've updated it a little bit with this architectural heel and the pointed toe. These are incredibly comfortable. And with this look, I either go for a black sandal or a nude shoe. The coach nude shoes would be great. Anything like that. I would not put, you know, and I'm, I always talk about mixing textures, but I do think that you have to watch the weight of things. With this outfit, I would not put a raffia, heavier wedge. I would stick with something that was pretty slim lined and because this fabric is more of a lighter 
dressier weight. This is a lighter weight. I would stick with a lighter weight shoe. I wouldn't do anything too heavy at the bottom, especially if you're going with black. And I probably would not do a color. And then sunglasses, I would love for this look because I always think about that. To me, sunglasses are a big part of most every outfit. I really love these classic Ray-Bans. They always remind me of three blind mice, <laughs> but I love them. Or Weekend at Bernie's. But to me, they are so fabulous. Every time I wear these, I love them. They are just light. They're much lighter than the Ray-Ban Aviators, which I equally love. But this gives you even a touch more class, a touch more cool factor. I think that they are just a little bit more stylish. I really love the gold with the classic green, but you can get them in different colors. And I love these. Okay, so speaking of colored shoes, you know, I said Brooke was here and you know, she's 23. And not only is there that age difference, she really likes, she is much more of a Daisy Jones, dreamy, you know, casual girl like that. Even when she dresses up, she prefers like little baby doll dresses, things like that. Lana Del Rey, um, you know, free people type look. Whereas I'm a little bit more, you know, dressed up, a little bit more formal. And she loves a lot more color than I do. So as soon as I pulled this out to show her and I tried it on with these shorts, she said, yeah, your green shoes, your Bottegas. <laughs> And I was thinking, no, no, but I thought, you know, that's her perspective and I wanted to try it. So you'll see what that looks like. And I did try to kind of change up my shoes with every outfit because I do think shoes are so important. You can take the plainest of outfits and put a really fabulous pair of shoes on with it and it's going to really make your look or it can kill your look. So you have to be careful. This little cami, I love. I just think you guys know how much I love like palm trees, monstera, I love plants, I love tropical things, and I love this color green. I think that this is very classy. It's, to me, it has a little bit of like a Tommy Bahama type vibe, which I am all into. I love that. I think this is a great little cami. And I got the small, I believe. Yeah, I got the small, it's $24.99. It does have a simple crisscross here in the back, which was nothing big. I don't like it. Matter of fact, that is a big um, deal breaker for me, is if a dress has too many straps or especially bathing suits, I don't want a bathing suit that I have to feel like I'm doing this thing. Remember that? with the strings, I don't want to have to do that to get into anything. So when I first saw this, I was like, mm, but it wasn't complicated and I really liked it. It is lined with a, you know, sheer nude lining and it's really pretty. This is something I would have worn probably in a solid in my 20s. I probably wasn't as into, I wasn't as confident I mean, point blank, I just wasn't as confident, so I probably would have stuck to something white or pink or something like that. But I love this, and I think for those of you that are going to an office job, going to work, this would be a great piece to put under a blazer with your suit, just knowing you're probably not gonna take the jacket off at work, and then you could put on whatever bra. I think I, put, I was wearing a strapless bra with this, and I just really like it. It's a perfect length to tuck in or leave out, and I think the price is good for the quality. Okay, this little outfit. First of all, I was not in a big hurry, but I wasn't just, I wasn't in the mindset of just looking at every single thing. I really approached it like I'm picking up things to take to the dressing room, and I'm just trying them on with you. So that pretend that's what we're doing because I hate the dressing rooms. I... I can't stand it. I don't like to be closed in. I don't think the lighting is good there. I can't try on whatever shoes I want to. So a lot of times I bring everything home and I just take back what I don't want. So that's basically what we're doing here. Well, when I was checking out, I looked over, I thought this was a romper and I love rompers. I will never forget going to a party. This was when I was doing YouTube 
And one of the girls there, it was actually Sully Ann Lynn, the girl that did my big tiger and my big lion painting. She was there, it was summertime, and she had on a Yumi Kim romper. She looked so beautiful. I mean, it was just, it was one of those times where I just, I was like, right then, I'm gonna try to wear every romper I can. And I can't wear all of them because a lot of them are really short. And because I'm long, so long-waisted, and I'm long-waisted in a weird way, like this is my waist way up here. And then this is really long from here all the way down. So that's why a lot of times I may have to size up in pants so that they're not squishing into the widest part of my body or my waist. The romper, sometimes I don't have enough length in the midsection. Same thing with jumpsuits, like the jumpsuit from Express. I had people ask me, why did I get a medium? Because the website said it ran big. Well, for one thing, Express, I think, skews a little bit to a younger, you know, a younger demographic that isn't built like a 52-year-old woman. So therefore, a lot of times I will size up. Yes. It's not my typical, but I thought it was a romper and I kind of, I don't know, for some reason it grabbed my attention. It did not look good on me. Brooke was like, I can't believe you got that. That doesn't look like you. And you know, a lot of times when I'm shopping, I'm thinking about me and I'm thinking about you guys and I'm thinking about things that you might like and kind of stepping out of my comfort zone every once in a while to show you some things that you might like. So I know a lot of you like more of these brown colors and I think this is really pretty. I think it would look great with different types of jewelry. I think it would look great with flat sandals, like even some Hirachi sandals or something very natural, even a good wedge with the raffia or more natural texture. That's what I think of with this. So it doesn't look good on me, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it. It's just not for me. The next thing is something else that I have always loved to wear, and that is a good pair of flowy, long, wide pants. They might be like, remember one year I got some really good ones from Victoria's Secret and they were like terry cloth, you know, different types of fabric. This is more of your linen-y fabric. And then I also really love printed pants. To me, that's one thing you can do to just give yourself a look of style and just make you stand out a little bit is wearing some printed pants like this and then put something very simple on with it like your black tank top, a simple black tee, a simple black, like the cami or strappy bodysuit from Zara would look really good with this. And then these are also good if you're like me and you live at the beach or you're going to the pool, something like this just to throw over your bathing suit. Or if you're going to a, on a vacation, you're staying at a hotel, you need to put something on before you go upstairs and go through the lobby or whatever. That's what I think of. But these are really, really pretty. And what size did I get in these? I did get the small and they did fit, but I'll be honest with you, I would have preferred them a little bit bigger. So I am gonna take these back and see if they have the mediums because I really like these to be big and blousy. And then I, kind of the extremes. I like my bottom to be really big and blousy and I like the top really fitted. So just go from there. But the small did fit and I'm typically anywhere from a four to a six. Okay, so the manager was there. I knew who he was because I've seen him a few times when I was in there and he was actually in the dressing room when I was over in the denim section. So I told him that I do YouTube and that I like to tell you guys what are their best sellers. So I asked him, what are the best selling denim styles? Because they have a lot of jeans there. He said, hands down, by far, it's the boyfriend and the 90s boyfriend. Okay, then I asked him, do they run big or do they run small? And he said that his wife usually sized down. Well, you guys know I'm not gonna size down. So I got <laughs> the six in both of these. And these, the regular boyfriend, oh my goodness, you guys, these are so good. Like when I had these jeans on, they were the kind of jeans that you can just, you don't have to fix them. You don't have to make them look good. You don't have to feel, 
do something to make yourself feel good in them. They just went on and they, I just loved them. I could have worn any pair of shoes. I could have worn any top. They're very, it's weird. It's like they're the rigid feel. Um, okay, they're low waist. I bet that's why I felt that way. Okay, uh, low waist. Let's see what they're made of because they don't feel stretchy, but they feel, maybe it's just 100% cotton, but it's thin. Yes, 100% cotton. So these aren't going to have any stretch. They're gonna be, they're gonna hang nicely. I see why I like them now. They're gonna hang nicely, but because they're thin, they're not gonna to be too hot. So you're getting the best of every world because with white jeans or a little bit off white jeans like this, if you get the ones that have a lot of stretch, you really have to size up. And you really, I mean, they're just very, they're brutal. White jeans can be brutal. They can really make you look like the Doughboy or the Michelin Man. And we don't want that. So these are not like that. These are cool girl jeans for sure. And I love them. They have the little rips in them. I don't think... Of course, they had all kinds of colors in denim, but I really like, I love white denim. I just, okay, I've gone on and on enough about it. You know how much I love these. These are not going anywhere. Okay, these on the other hand, so these, let me compare the colors. I would say that the regular boyfriend is a little bit more of a white, whereas the 90s boyfriend high waist, isn't it funny? You like what you like. You like what you like. You, don't try to fight it. Just go with it because it is what it is. And I think, especially when you get to be our age, you know, that's when you start um, really paying attention to those things. And that's, I don't like high waist, I love low waist. And I didn't even realize that was the difference in these. Okay, so these are 90s boyfriend jeans, high waist. If I had to guess, they're still 100% cotton, loose fit. And I did size up to the six because I do wear four in most of their jeans. These were way too big. I tried to make them work with a belt. I, you know, I thought about it and Brooke was just like, she was on the sofa and she was like, mama, uh-uh, they are just too big, they're too big. And because they're cotton, it's not that they're gonna stretch, but they're gonna give. Like when you drive, when you wear them more than once, they're going to, you know, give a little bit. So these will be going back, but hey, just that this one good pair is like a really good thing. Okay, let's go to another loser. And I knew, I knew this was a gamble. This was one of those things you take to the dressing room with a good 60%, uh, it's not gonna work out, but the 40% would be pretty fabulous. So that's how this was. It's a cargo skirt. Here is my thing with this whole trend here. Remember when I went to DC, I got those cargo pants with the pull tie bottom like this from Zara, and I loved them. You guys, they were like a death trap. This little pull thing was on the inside of the legs. I put them on one day and I about killed myself tripping with my heel catching these pants everywhere I walked, which I know maybe they're thinking you shouldn't be wearing heels with cargo pants, but I do. And I think I was trying to wear like some of my Bottega little stretch mules. And I mean, I don't even think I got out of my bedroom without thinking I, I can't wear these. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, I'm going to be able to wear this look in a skirt with, you know, heels and a white strappy bodysuit. It did not fit me well at all. Lots of room here and here. And I think for a person with a typical torso or even a short torso, you may love this, but it just hit me in a very awkward place, um, not a flattering place, and I just wasn't able to do it. So not too disappointing because I pretty much knew that was the way it was gonna be. Okay, this, this is one of those things like, here again, when you get our age, you know what's gonna work. You know what's gonna work and you know what a gamble is. This is something, I knew this was gonna work. This is the kind of dress that always looks good. And I think it looks good on most people. Why? Because it's layered up, it's got all of this like ruching, not really ruching, but maybe gathers 
it's a faux wrap so you just it's very very forgiving i love this color they also had it in like a creamy white and it is that linen type fabric the color i mean the size i got is small okay so it's a linen look it is not linen it's actually polyester and elastane so that is very important to know because linen breathes and that's why linen is so great for the summertime the negative is linen wrinkles this is not going to breathe as much this is not going to wrinkle so it's just you know pick your poison pick which one you like want more i do think this is a beautiful dress i don't think it was very expensive 35 dollars a whole outfit for 35 dollars and this would look good with a lot of stuff layered over it. It gives you a lot of options with jewelry. So here you go. It's very, it's a very sexy dress. I like it. I think this might have been. It's between these shorts and this jumpsuit. Okay, remember when I told you I thought the dress was a jumper or a romper? I thought this was a dress, and I Brooke steamed it. So I, you know, went to try it on. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a jumpsuit. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. If you like what I have on right now and you like the more tailored, classy, classic look, even in the summer, you need this. The weight is beautiful on this. That makes a difference because of the flow, of the way it will hang on your body. The weight of the fabric is very, very important. And that's the kind of things, you know, we don't pay attention to until we're a little bit older. When you're young, let's face it, when you're young and you have that young body, it doesn't matter what you wear, you're gonna look good. So, okay, this was $64.99. Let's see what it's made of because I do think that that's important. It's 100% polyester and it is lined. So this is like, I think I might have even gotten this out of the section where it has more of your business wear. This, to me, okay, this is either something that would look great at work if you go to an office every day, or if you go to, I have a lot of people ask me about like going to a business convention, either going with their husbands or going on a convention, because it's, what am I trying to think of? It's kind of like that daytime business when they give the dress code or business casual, business casual, that's what this is. And it's still business casual, sexy and feminine. That's what this is. Just really nice, really nice. I, this was what I was probably most excited to show you guys. Okay, so that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below if you are into H&M, if you ever find good things there, do you like to shop online? Do you like to shop in the store? And would you like to see more? Because I like kind of going in different stores, shopping on different websites, and just seeing what I think is good for us and showing you guys. So let me know. And okay, for accessories, I have on um, the gold pendant that my parents gave me. I think I have on a lot of their jewelry because I'm going over there later on. I have on one of the rings they gave me um, for one Christmas, it's onyx and diamonds. I have on my Jenny Bird bangles and some Dean Davidson hoops. My lip combo is City Beauty San Diego, no lipstick, and my Paradise lip liner. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you as always for being here with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Here I was filming. And here are my little buddies sitting with me. So even if you don't see the kitties, they are usually right beside me.